There's been a lot of speculation surrounding the launch of OTV2 in early March. And some people uh, are theorising it's to do with the heart project of weather manipulation. Uh, but the Air Force themselves, stated down here, uh, could make our access to space more responsive and push us in the vector toward being able to react to warfighter needs more quickly. This has lent the X-37B program an air of intrigue. Some observers think that the project is designed to facilitate the development of combat and weapon systems. Others have suggested that the unmanned craft could be used as an orbital spy vehicle. I certainly believe it is being used as an orbital spy vehicle from my research in the last couple of days. The earthquake data used in this video was taken from earthquake.usgs.gov and basically I took screen grabs and cut and pasted them into images of the live real-time tracking of OTV2. I'll be providing links to the tools I used in the description on this video quite interesting as I urge people to continue this research. It took me considerable time yesterday. I couldn't cover every event, uh, but my interest was peaked on the 11th of April. Well, as you can see, the position of OTV2 here just off the coast of Japan, opposite Fukushima. I took this screen grab at 8.27 universal time and the earthquake data at this time there was a magnitude 6.6 .6 at 08.16 and a 5.2 at 08.26. OTV2 coincidentally is in this area. And at this point, it is a coincidence. But over the <coughs> yesterday, in fact, I decided to investigate this further and position and track OTV2 in relation to seismic events. On the 13th of April, there was a 4.9 magnitude quake just off of Papua New Guinea. Here's the screen grab of OTV2 in relation to the approximate area of the quake zone. Now, it occurred at 4.18. OTV2 was over there at 5.27. As just over one hour later, OTV2 appears in this earthquake zone. This next screen grab has OTV2 just off the coast of Japan again. There was a 4.7 magnitude quake highlighted at the top here that occurred at 541 and it appeared at 709 just over one and a quarter hours later after this quake. I believe this one actually the epicenter was uh, pretty well on the Fukushima nuclear power plant. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe someone could verify that. In my haste, I forgot to highlight this entry. But OTV2 is here, just above Nagano in Japan. It did pass right over Fukushima, but I did miss the screenshot. But it arrived just one hour and 12 minutes later after a 4.5 magnitude quake. As you can see here, the timestamp is 7.32 timestamp on OTV2 appearing is 8.44, one hour and 12 minutes. This is also the 13th of April, there's a magnitude 4.7 quake that occurred at 05.41. OTV2 appears at 7.09, it's just one and a quarter hours later. This, some people um, believe this is a, like a satellite type orbit. OTV2 does have the capability to manoeuvre. That's one thing they did discuss that they were testing. So it seems to be putting itself over these areas of seismic activity very, very rapidly. There was a 2.9 magnitude uh, event that happened at 0454 over central California. Lo and behold, here we have OTV2 at 5.55, just one hour later, it appears. This is all too coincidental. I certainly believe it is collecting seismic data from the intense activity that we're having. Again, I'll provide links to the tools I've used here, plus a great little program for you to use 
uh, to continue this and come to your own conclusions. They are certainly up to something. This great little free program, EQ3D, puts some perspective on the amount of seismic anomalies that we're having, or not necessarily anomalies, but activity and intense activity it is. This shows the earthquake uh, of a magnitude 4 or greater that have occurred over the last three days. Uh, Dutch Sense, uh, another YouTube user, very inspirational, great videos. Uh, he put me onto this program and I go along uh, with his theory that with the intensity of earthquakes happening across this ridge down below Japan all the way down through to Papua New Guinea is very likely to sink part of Japan into the ocean. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. It's frightening. If I increase the age to what's occurred in the last seven days, it becomes utterly mind-blowing. There's something very wrong going on here, folks. Best of luck to you all. Please use the links and research and verify for yourself what is happening.